الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله The Imam Mujaddid Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab رحمه الله تعالى said اعلم رحمك الله أنه يجب علينا أن تعلم أربع مسائل الأولى العلم Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab رحمه الله تعالى said No Rahimahullah. May Allah have mercy upon you. So he made dua for you so that you would listen and be attentive. And this means that the reader of his treaties, Ala Sula Thalatha, would be attentive after dua, after you supplicate on their behalf that Allah gives them mercy. He said it's an obligation upon us to know four things and the first thing is ilm al ula al ilm he said the first thing is knowledge and then he described what knowledge is wa huwa ma'rufat allah wa ma'rufat an nabi wa ma'rufat din al islam bi adillah and he said it is knowing Allah and it is knowing the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it is knowing the religion of islam with its textual proofs the reason I want to emphasize this Ahabatifillah, and I've said this countless times, is because without knowledge you can't distinguish between truth and falsehood. Without knowledge, knowledge is something that's going to, it's a sabil to Jannah, it's a, it's a path to paradise. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ سَلَكَ تَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمًا سَحَلَ لَهُ لَهُ تَرِيكًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ سَحَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ That whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the, the path to Jannah. So the path of knowledge is a path of Jannah. As the Salaf used to say, طَلَبْ الْعِلْمْ طَلَبْ الْجَنَّةِ that seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. So by gaining Islamic knowledge, correct Islamic knowledge, it will show you what the Sabil al Mu'mineen. It will show you Saratullahi Mustaqim. It will show you the path of the believers. It will show you the Sirat al Mustaqim, the straight path. It will show you. Al Minhaj al Rabbani. It will show you the methodology the righteous methodology or the methodology of the Rabbaniyun of those people who fear Allah and have reached such a level of knowledge and they practice that knowledge and they disseminate that knowledge And they are not deceptive with that knowledge. And they begin the people when they teach with the small things up to the larger things. So an example of the opposite of the minhaj of uh, Rabbaniin, the opposite of that, is the minhaj of those people who teach the people major issues. The first thing they start with with the new shahadas and the new Muslims is about the issue of takfir. So and so is this. Leader so and so is this. President so and so is this. Ruler so and so is this. That's the opposite of the Minhajah Rabbaniin. They begin the people with the major Messiah. You need to know, brother, all these issues of Tibdi, of, of how to declare someone an innovator. So and so is an innovator. Run from this one. Run from that one. This person has some mukhalifat, has some mistakes here. So his Minhaj is, is this. La, the Minhaj Rabbaniin, they teach the people to heed first. They're teaching the people the things that they will be able to use, tahara and salat, and how to practice their religion so that they will be in a state, in uh, aqidah, ittiqada ahl sunnah. They're teaching the people the creed of ahl sunnah. That's the minhaj al rabbaniyin They begin the people with the small, with the small things and build them in stages. So that Islamic knowledge, what is it? Al-Mashara. As the Imam said, 
Who am I rafat Allah wa marafat al Nabi wa marafat al Din al Islam bi adilla? It is knowing Allah. It is knowing the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it is knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. So, if you want to free yourself from taqlid, at least to a greater or lesser extent, then you have to seek ilm, you have to seek knowledge. And if you want to free yourself from being a cut and paste Muslim, and what I mean by this is those people, for example, who go to websites, and even if they go to the Sahih websites, the good websites of the ulama, they're just racing from fatwa to fatwa. They haven't benefited any knowledge. I know people who've been reading websites in English, for example, for many years. They haven't benefited any real Islamic knowledge. They haven't raised their their bar of Islamic knowledge. Because all they do is take fatwa. Bin Baz said, Shaykh al-Albani said, Imam Muqbil said, uh, Imam uh, 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 Shaykh Rabi said, Shaykh uh, Suleiman al-Rahili said. And those are our ulama. Those ulama are rubbaniyun and ulama we love. But they did not teach us that our purpose is just to cut and paste their fata fatawa. But those fatawa are guidance for us. Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. But those people will make it their minhaj to only cut and paste. They don't listen to a single lecture. They don't finish a single book. This is what I want to encourage my brothers and sisters. Those people who listen to me at all. If nothing else, so that way you can surpass me easily, is start seeking real knowledge by finishing books. This is what's going to help you raise your knowledge and make you to be a tawailib al-ilm or possibly a talib al-ilm, a seeker of knowledge. It's by actually taking a book, reading a book from cover to cover, but reading it with the explanation of a talib al-ilm or sitting in the masjid with a, a student of knowledge and going through those matun or on their websites. There's so many recorded lectures all over the internet. Not just lectures, but I mean durus. I mean complete lessons in books. Finishing chapters in big books. Finishing full books in aqidah and fiqh and hadith. Go through that. Seek ilm. Atalab al-ilm. This is what's going to benefit you. Ahabat of Allah. So I want to raise the bar for my brothers and sisters and hope that they will go further and continue to seek knowledge. And if I have the time, and hopefully in the future when my time is freed up more, that I'll be able to begin to start teaching books again. Because that's what I prefer to do. That is really the tarbiyah of teaching and raising, helping others to raise themselves and to go beyond you. It's by seeking knowledge. And that means finishing books, not just nice words of guidance, not words that make you feel good, not just lectures. That's good. Those are Iman boosters. A khutbah is good. It's an Iman booster. But we need solid ilm. And that comes from finishing matun of the Salaf of Saleh. And finishing the matun who came after the Salaf and those who traversed the Sabil al Mu'mineen. Going through their books and going through their books with students of knowledge or scholars if you're able to do. So. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept my good and forgive my evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said was incorrect was from myself the shaitan.